What is up guys, welcome to another video. So that right there is the definition of chalk and cheese. So on Tuesday, I worked up to 235 kilos for a set of five from the deadlift, which is a joint personal best. Very happy with that. 90 kilos on the bench for a set of eight. Peck is holding up nicely, so I was really pleased with that. And then comes Thursday session and everything just hits the fan. Uh, so I worked up to 152.5 kilos, which isn't heavy by any means for a set of eight pours. And literally by the eighth rep, I was just absolutely blowing and I felt horrendous. My head was banging, my neck was just in pain um, and everything was just aching. I was just feeling really grim. And yeah, I got home and pretty much had to go straight to sleep. And what I really put this down to is just having a very stressful week. And it's been a stressful week but ultimately it's been a very good week and I just want to quickly talk you through my week because it's been sort of a long time coming this week uh, and I just want to sort of go over it because I just want to share this with you because I have sort of mentioned things like this in the past and I just want to sort of go over it. So on Monday I had an assessment for my assistant practitioner apprenticeship. So for any of you that have followed my YouTube for a while will know that I work for the NHS and I'm an assistant practitioner and I've been doing an apprenticeship, which basically just allows me to sort of work at a slightly higher level in my role. So it's basically like a therapy assistant. So I had my assessment for that and it was very important that I passed it because if I hadn't have done, I wouldn't be able to move on to do a physiotherapy apprenticeship, which I'm starting on Monday. So on Monday I had all of that stress uh, well, to be honest with you, leading up to that for a long time, I had all the stress making sure that I was ready for the assessment and actually having the assessment done on Monday. So I did all of that um, and obviously feeling quite stressed. Tuesday, it didn't really affect me in the gym. I just sort of cracked on with it. Wednesday, I then had my vaccines done. Uh, and I'm not going to get into like the politics of that for any of you that just sort of don't believe in that. But I work for the NHS and I need to get my vaccine. So I had my booster done and my flu vaccine and I think that maybe made me feel a little bit under the weather anyway uh, and then just with the accumulated stress of waiting for my results and then on the Thursday I found out my results uh, and I passed so obviously I was over the moon and I felt like a massive weight had come off my shoulder but I think the fact that I'd just been working so hard leading up to that I think on Thursday I just felt absolutely emotionally exhausted and that's ultimately why I had a terrible session on Thursday but Overall, this now means that I'm going to be able to train um, as a physiotherapist as of Monday and that's obviously brilliant news for me personally but the reason I kind of want to share this is because it's been such a long time coming for me. I've been waiting for like this opportunity for honestly the last four or five years so for any of you that sort of remember, if well, for any of you that have followed me literally from day one of YouTube, I was in a basically dead-end job, I was working in a betting shop and wasn't enjoying life really in general, I was just sort of, you know, various addictions and that sort of thing and, you know, I was just not in a very good place really um, until I decided that I wanted to make a change. So I went into healthcare with the idea of wanting to be a physiotherapist, but I had knockback after knockback whenever I applied to go to university to study as a physio until this opportunity came up where if I complete my apprenticeship, I can go on and study to be a physio now. So um, to finally be in the, the place the, and have the opportunity to be able to say that I'm studying as a physio is honestly like the biggest relief to me because I've had like these knockbacks, like I say, um, and just a lot of hard work has gone into this really, and I think that's kind of what the takeaway is here. I just want to say that, you know, sometimes when you want something, it doesn't come straight away. Anything that's worth having never comes easy. And I've worked consistently, I've worked hard, and I've backed myself to the point where I'm now going to start doing what I want to do as a career. And for me that's amazing because I've for so long have not really been sure about what I want to do in life really and I finally decided that I want to be a physiotherapist so to actually say that I'm now getting the opportunity to study to do that is honestly amazing for me and um, I really just you know want to emphasize that message really that you know whatever you want to do in life once you sort of decide on that just back yourself and be consistent and ultimately work hard towards it. And if you have those three things, just being consistent, working hard and backing yourself, then you know over time you will get those things and you will be rewarded for that. So 
I can honestly say right now, this week has been one of the hardest weeks and most stressful weeks for me. But I've never been prouder of myself, to be honest with you. And to be able to tell my family that I've passed and as of next week I'm going to be studying to be a physiotherapist is honestly amazing for me because I'm not someone who's super academic anyway. Um, I just sort of love what I do for a job. I love working for the NHS and to be able to say that I'm now continuing and progressing my career is... Yeah, it makes me really proud. So that's really the message I want to pass on is, you know, back yourself, you know, do the hard work, be consistent. It takes time. Um, but if you do those things, you will get where you want to be. Ah, anyway, I didn't really want to make a, a long cringeworthy video like that. But um, as I've said before, talking to a camera is just weirdly therapeutic and it's nice to be able to just get things out in the open and sometimes when you don't really feel like talking to anybody else I can just talk to a camera which is just bizarre but you know it is what it is but tonight um, I am going to go and celebrate because it's the end of the week and I feel like I can sort of really let my hair down now and although I'm doing dry January I am going to the pub with my brother who has also just found out that he's getting a 15% pay rise in the work that he does um, which is actually weirdly a YouTube editor, that is literally his job and he's getting a pay rise because he's been working incredibly hard on that as well so just cause for celebration you know all this sort of hard work and graft that has been put in is starting to pay off so we're going to go and celebrate in the pub tonight obviously I'm not going to, well I'm undecided whether I'm going to drink tonight because obviously I'm doing dry January so I probably won't drink but we'll be able to celebrate anyway and obviously tomorrow I've got another heavy squat session so I can't celebrate too hard because I need to make sure I'm ready and focused for that. Anyway, onwards with the video if you're still here, thanks, I'll see you in the pub. It is amazing what a good couple of nights sleep and not having something hanging over you can do for you. Um, I'm just feeling so much better today. I'm really looking forward to going and training. I had a really good night last night as well um, at the pub and I didn't drink, so I'm still sticking with dry January. I just had Diet Cokes last night. But um, yeah, just feeling really good. And I think it is the fact that I don't have anything sort of hanging over me at the moment. And I did manage to get a good night's sleep. So stress levels are a lot lower today. Um, and generally I feel less fatigued because of it. So hopefully I have a good session today. There's another reason why Trojan is just the best gym that I've ever trained at is they really do listen to their members and they've just got a brand new combo rack, which I'm going to be using today to bench and squat on. Obviously bench, I'm not going to be going super heavy, so that's not going to be too exciting, but yeah, it'd be fun to uh, squat on it. I'm working up to 192.5 for five, so uh, yeah, looking forward to using it. Alright, so that's, uh, that's bench done, 95 for a set of 8 with the band, probably moved better than 90 kilos did on Tuesday, so happy with that, moving on to squats.
squats, did a 5x5, five five, working up to the top set of 192.5, then just done a couple of back down sets, two sets of five pours on 142.5. Absolutely killed me off, but feeling really good. My conditioning already feels better than it was on Thursday, so I can tell that I just feel heaps better than I did on Thursday. So hopefully I can keep the recovery up going into next week. I do find it incredible how different your body can feel in literally just two days. On Thursday, I trained for literally an hour because I couldn't train any more than that, so I didn't do any of my accessories apart from some rows. And I did a 5x5 five five with a top set of 8 uh, on 152.5 kilos, and I was absolutely gassed by the end of that and felt grim. But today, I did a 5x5, five five, so a similar rep range on 192.5 kilos, so a lot heavier, but I felt like I could have just kept going today. And it just goes to show that when you've got less stress in your life and less sort of stress factors which can impact on fatigue and just your general conditioning, um, you just can have a better session, you just feel so much better. So yeah, recovery has been really good this last couple of days. Obviously yesterday I didn't drink, but I went out and had some good food really. I mean, I had steak, I could have had loads of crap food, but I didn't. I had a nice quality steak with potatoes, so good carbs, good protein there. And just it's being accountable with those sort of things at the moment. I'm being better with my recovery, but the main thing is the fact that I've got less stress at the end of this week, because it started out with a lot of stress, as I've previously mentioned. Um, and I'm just really happy to get through this week, to be honest with you, because it has been tough. And I am actually a little bit down in weight. So I actually weighed myself this morning and I was 107.7 kilos. So that is quite a lot down to where I have been, because I have been sitting around about 111 kilos. Um, so the fact that I have dropped a little bit of weight is going to sort of have a bit of an impact on my strength, but weirdly it's actually meaning that my belt is fitting quite nicely at the moment, but uh, yeah, I think that mini cut has been quite good for me, I just in terms of general health, um, but I think I do need to start ramping up the calories slowly now, uh, just so I can benefit from the strength side of that, but yeah, it's been a really good end to the week, apart from obviously on Thursday, but I'm really glad to finish this session strong. Um, because, you know, momentum's a thing. It means that I can sort of carry on into next week feeling good because um, I've actually got a very heavy deadlift session on Tuesday. I've got 240 kilos for five, which will be a personal best. So it's five kilos up from earlier in this week. Uh, so I need to make sure I'm ready for that because uh, the volume's not going away at the moment. I'm still lifting lots of weights for lots of reps. So, yeah. Just need to stay on top of that but um next week i'm obviously very excited starting this uh, apprenticeship so that is definitely something to look forward to next week as well anyway apologies that this video has been a lot more of me just sort of waffling on and talking about uh some career stuff weirdly but they are kind of interlinked with my training because they do have a direct impact on how i feel in the gym so uh, i felt like it was fairly relevant and i wanted to share it with you guys so yeah, either way, I'm going to sign out the video now, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video. As always, please leave it, leave it a like if you have. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.